Hi, I'm Carmen DeVito. I'm a garden designer here in New York City, and I'm doing a series for Heritage Radio on edible gardening in the city. Today we're going to talk about growing two kinds of peas and lettuces. The first kind is a shelling pea, and the second one is a snow pea. And we're going to interplant the peas with lettuces. So peas can easily be grown in containers. I use a, can a container about this size. This is about 12 inches. And I have some existing soil in here from last year, which I loosened up. And then I'm going to add some good compost as well as a lightweight soil. This is a good rich soil, richer than what I grow herbs in because vegetables need a lot more nutrients than the herbs. So I'm gonna fill in the top three or four inches with fresh soil. Just smooth it out. And see, it kinda has the consistency of chocolate cake, crumbly chocolate cake. Lovely. You want to leave an inch or so around the around the top so that when you water the soil doesn't spill out. So we're going to start with these here shelling peas which come from Territorial Seed Company. They get six to eight feet tall so they're climbing type of peas. There's bush peas and then there's climbers. Peas can be planted right about now in our zone which is USDA zone 7. You can plant them Whenever the soil is about 45 degrees, 45 to 50 degrees, or about four to six weeks before the last frost date. And our last frost date is May 15th, so it's perfect. So you can plant them pretty close together and just putting them below the surface and you can put them close together. Some of them won't, won't germinate or grow, so you can plant a little bit thicker. I'm putting a lot and then I'm just gonna very very gently cover them with just a fine layer of soil if you want to increase your rate of germination or sprouting you can soak them overnight in water and then plant them I haven't done that that with these but that's okay they'll still be fine okay so then I'm gonna add lettuces Lettuces and peas are both cool season crops, so you can plant them together. Now in this little four inch pot is actually quite a few um, lettuce plants. So I'm going to try to cut down the roots here. And I can actually separate these a little bit. And very gently, just to give them a bit more room. There's actually quite a few little plants here and this is like a, a little romaine mesclun mix. I'm gonna plant them at the same depth as they were in their original pot, spacing them out a little bit. And you can harvest them pretty young in like three to four weeks so you can let them grow on. I'm putting a grouping of three small plants here and then I'm going to add a little bit more soil to kind of make sure that they're straightened out like that. These have to be grown outdoors so if you don't have an outdoor space you can't really grow um, peas or lettuces very well. Um, this is a fertilizer that I like to use. It's called Roots, and it has a good mixture of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And I'm gonna just lightly sprinkle it on the surface and then scratch it in. I put in about a handful. And then I just kind of break it with my hand. It never harms the plants, it's completely organic. and then I'll water it in. So peas, climbing peas, need support. And you can buy a trellis 
such as this one and put it on top of your pot and let them grow through that. There's all different kinds. There's also adorable metal ones that you can set in there. But I'm gonna show you how to make one out of simple materials. You need three bamboo stakes of equal length and you're going to put them in your pot spaced out evenly to make a kind of triangle. They don't have to be very strong bamboo stakes. Peas are not super uh, aggressive vines, super strong. Then you take a piece of twine. This is waxed florist twine that I love. And the reason it's so great is that it's kind of sticky. It sticks to itself and it sticks to um, other materials. And then I'm just going to wrap to kind of get the top. I sort of go in and out, weaving and tying it all together to kind of hold it in place so that the top is secure. This is great for tying plants as well. In general, it's very gentle on the plants and it really is easy to work with. So then I make sure that they're nice and secure in the pot. And then every eight to 10 inches, I'm gonna make the cross pieces. The first thing I do is I tie around one of them and leave a little tail four or five inches. Then I go to the next piece and I wrap around a few times, nice and snug. And this wax twine, you can get from this company called Dorothy Biddle Service. You can get it online. They have all kinds of cool florist supplies. I go back around to the original one like this. Wrapping and then tying, tying it off. And I continue with this every six to eight inches. Here's a completed one. So you can see the spacing. And the peas will go right through that, send their little tendrils around, and be supported. All right, now we're going to plant snow peas. Uh, this variety is called Sweet Horizon, also from Territorial Seed Company. And here in this pot, I've already planted um, herb anise, which I um, started from seed. And it's a nice combination, also a wonderful and attractive plant. And I'm going to add fresh soil in this container as well to the right level, like this, leaving about an inch. These peas are not climbers. They only get about 20 to 24 inches tall, so they don't need trellis. And I'm going to spread, space them out. They can be close together, just putting them on the surface. These snow peas you can pick in about 60 days from planting. I want to stress that peas and beans are not typically started indoors um, like tomatoes or basil or other warm weather kind of vegetables. These get planted right in pots or right in the garden. And I'm going to top dress them with a little bit of soil. Just pat them down gently. And then I'm going to add the fertilizer and water them in. Thanks for watching my video. You can follow me on Instagram at Goody DeVito. And here's a little teaser for next week's show. We're gonna do a piece on edible flowers. This is a wild viola. And we're gonna talk about violas that are edible as well as other flowers.